Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Resident Evil. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek. And today we have some screenshots here that I took from a recent promo, and I don't I don't think this was a, a TV spot, but it could be. I just saw it on Instagram, so I don't know where else this ends up, because the only thing I'm on is, uh, on social media-wise is Instagram, and I don't ever watch TV. I don't have cable or anything. So for me, I'm like, I this could be a TV spot, but this is, I think this is mainly just made for the internet because it's directed towards the fans, uh, because that's what they say. Like, it's Johannes Roberts and some of the cast saying, this is for the fans, you know, this is what we're doing. Uh, here's some Easter eggs, and they're kind of pointing out some stuff. So I thought this was neat. And there's other things out there, like an interview with Robbie Amell. He did something for Cinemark um, to announce the tickets going on sale. So there you go. Tickets are on sale. You can go buy your tickets. I already got mine. And they're also releasing this movie two days early on uh, the November 22nd, which is a Monday, uh, and here in the U.S. at least. And so uh, or it is, it's Monday everywhere, November 22nd. But I'm saying that's when they're releasing it here in the U.S. I don't know every other place in the world where they're releasing this film. Um, but for us, we're getting it November 22nd now. And you can get tickets to see it that night, or you can see it on Tuesday, which I'm normally off Tuesdays. So I'm going to go Tuesday to a matinee. That way I can come home, record the, uh, you know, my, my review of it, non-spoiler and spoiler, and post the non-spoiler one up on Wednesday, and maybe have the spoiler one go up like on Saturday or Sunday. So that way I have it all done and I don't have to, you know, risk forgetting seeing the movie and then having to re-go see it uh, like I had to do with Venom and other things. Uh, so for those who don't know, I have short-term memory loss. So sometimes I'll read a book or a comic book or see a movie. And then if I don't record my video on it that day, I run the risk of forgetting that I even did that and I have to do it again. Um, so so I, I want to avoid that. Uh, so yeah, tickets are on sale now. I got mine for Tuesday, uh, November 23rd, I think it is, or 20, uh, yeah, 23rd, I think. So I'm I'm so excited. I cannot wait to go see this movie. So without further ado, let's dive into this. Uh, first, they showed off a shot here. And I pulled all this from Instagram so that, you know, the angle, it's not like a wide angle. I'm sure there's a wider version out there on YouTube somewhere, but I just, this is where I got it from. So I like to just use the original source. And this was the Resident Evil Instagram account. So I'll put a link to that down below. So you can go follow that if you're on Instagram. But they post this video and you have the Raccoon City Orphanage sign here, which is very video game accurate. So that, I just thought that was cool. I know we've talked about that before, but I just thought it was neat. Um, and then you have uh, this shot here of the mansion. I just thought this was a cool shot with the team going up onto the porch and getting ready to burst in through the front doors. Um, I cannot wait to see the Spencer Mansion. <laughs> it's, I'm so pumped. And I'm starting to notice how they did some of this CGI stuff. Like, obviously, they built that little part of that porch and then, you know, the stairs leading up to it because we saw that in the woods in a like a production shot when they were filming this in the woods. And it's literally the only thing here that's actually there on set is them, the porch, and the stairs leading up to the porch, and maybe even the rails, but I don't even think the railings were there. All that other stuff you see in that image there is CGI. So for me, when I was, uh, when people were saying like, oh, this movie looks lazy or it looks, you know, whatever, I'm like, but look at the amount of detail. When the people say the C CGI looks bad, not in every scene, because to me, this looks really, really good. Uh, they did a great job with it. So uh, then we got this Raccoon City, uh, you know, newspaper. I think some of the words on it aren't actually like, because sometimes when you, there's a term in, in movies uh, when you Greek something and that's when you cover actual logos and stuff. Like, so if you take like, you know, a Mountain Dew bottle, you'll put something over it or you'll tear this off and just make it like a generic green bottle or put your own bottle over it or put a piece of tape over it so no one sees that and it's in the background no one sees that it's actually Mountain Dew they just see it and it's, it could be Mountain Dew but you, you don't see the logo um so that's called greeking something and so sometimes when you do props like this you might um put in fake words or, or not actually put a real article in there and I think some fans online figured out that this Raccoon Times newspaper some of the words weren't actual like uh you know it's not like a, a real article typed underneath it um, some of it is, and I think some of it isn't. So yeah, it's just kind of neat that uh, fans, man, like we, we go over every detail, don't we? Um, some people do way more, a better job than I do. I, I'm at times I get kind of lazy about it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then uh, if I don't see it right away, I kind of just move on. Uh, but other people out there, they zoom in and they do, you know, and that's, that's great because that helps the rest of us sometimes uh, make our content too, or at least we can comment on it like I'm commenting on it now. So good job, RE fans out there. You're, you're doing uh, the Lord's work for sure. Um, 
So yeah, then we have Emmy's Diner here. This was really cool that we're going to get that. It's a little different from the video game on the outside and I think on the inside. Uh, but the fact that Emmy's Diner is in this is cool because that was something in Resident Evil 2, the original, and not something they added, as far as I remember, to the remake. I think there was a sign in Resident Evil 3 or uh, remake or 2 remake, maybe, that said Emmy's Diner was around the corner somewhere. But we didn't actually go into Emmy's Diner. And we didn't really in the original game either. It was just part of the opening cutscene. But they kind of scrapped that in the remake. So uh, And they changed it to like a gas station. So, uh, you know, so we kind of lost Emmy's Diner. So it's great that they brought it back for the film. Um, and obviously there's these shots where Johannes Roberts said, you know, Capcom gave us the actual video game blueprints of the Spencer Mansion and of the uh, Raccoon City Police Department. So we can kind of build our sets using that as an example. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, they're going to change some things. So like, for example, on the police department, um, you know, or uh, I think the Spencer Mansion, some of the rooms aren't exact and they're not in the exact locations they were in the game. But it's just kind of a blueprint to where they can kind of map out their movie version based on the video game version. So that's pretty cool. And they did things like the wallpaper matches and all that stuff. So, but this shot here, I thought was cool because I didn't think we'd actually see the, the main hall in the police department. And this is the remake version of it where you have the giant marble statue. And this footage looks a little weird. Obviously the desk is real. And again, they enhance everything else in CG. And you can kind of tell like there's this, the image here, like the background, there's like fog or something in the RPD and, or like some kind of like you can, this, maybe the skylight that's coming down to shine on the statue is just revealing dust everywhere or something floating through the air. But it's a weird look, that's for sure. Um, it doesn't really uh, look great to me. Um, but still the fact that they went to that level of showing the full, you know, hallway, uh, at least in this one shot. So, uh, so, you know, you have Leon there at the desk, um, which is crazy. I was hoping we'd see Marvin Branow uh, and, and, you know, some of the other police officers uh, that were mentioned in the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes and were there originally, like David and stuff, they were, their files were found. I was hoping to see more of them, and, and who knows, maybe we will? I, I don't know yet. Um, but it looks like a skeleton crew on this night, and Leon is working the front desk. Uh, so I don't know if this is his first day, because typically if your first day as a police officer, you're not just stuck at a, a, a front desk kind of situation. Someone else works the front desk. So I'm curious why it seems like it's Leon who's sitting there. I want to kind of know why he's hanging out there. Uh, maybe he's watching it. Maybe um, someone else is like, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. Can you watch this? You can watch the front desk for me. And maybe that's how he's there. It's possible. And then be like, hey, rookie, you know, watch this for me. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe it's a prank. Maybe the others are like, hey, Leon, uh, you know, you're on front desk duty tonight. And then they're like giggling, you know, like that he actually is doing it. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Um, but uh, but seeing the background there with the marble statue and uh, the full room is pretty neat. There's a stars flag, I think, and a uh, USA flag. So um, just a neat shot. I thought it was cool. I didn't think we'd get that degree of this. So that's really cool. And then uh, the other thing that we saw is this, which is the Welcome Leon sign, which is kind of cut off because, again, I don't have the wide version of these images, but it's even missing the L because in the original game, when they did Welcome to Leon, it they spelled it with two L's, uh, the Japanese version, I think, and then they fixed it, like in the coding, they fixed it uh, as, as quickly as they could. But there was like one version out there that had two L's in there, Welcome uh, Le Leon. And in the remake... They did a mock of that where they left a space like there was a second L and someone realized it and took it down. So that was like a little Easter egg they put in the remake of the game to throw back to the original Resident Evil. And now that's in the movie. So we talked about that before, too. But I love that. I think that's so fantastic that they did that. Um, the orphanage doors obviously look the same. Um, and again, they it's CGI building behind the gate. And again, they just made one section and then just CGI'd the rest in, and that's great to add scope. I like when CGI and, and uh, effects like that are used to enhance something as opposed to the whole thing be green screen, because then it looks really, really bad. Some of these shots actually look pretty decent, and, uh, and I think that's because it's a blend of two, and I think that's why it works for me. Um, then we got a typewriter. There's a typewriter in the background, which is cool. Um, so then this shot is cool because you get an herb. And we talked about that before. I think Robbie Amell or someone shared an image on their Instagram of a red, blue, and green herb. And so there's this shot here, I think in the mansion or maybe in the orphanage or something, where there's an herb in the corner. Um, it, it's not 100% video game accurate. At least this shot isn't. But when you saw the props, they, they were pretty video game accurate. So it could just be the angle there. Um, and then the other thing here was the key. Uh, there's actually keys for the police department. And you got the club key, the heart key, you know, all the, the signs from uh, 
from, you know, cards, like, you know, from, from a deck of cards. And that's from the video game as well. So I just thought this was all cool. I loved uh, seeing all these little Easter eggs and then getting the announcement from Robbie Amell in a Cinemark interview uh, where he talked about, you know, playing Chris and people were asking him about, you know, playing the role of Chris. And then at the end of that interview, he said, hey, everyone, you can go buy tickets right now, which was uh, really awesome. And there's other things going out there. There's a full scene from the movie that they put up where it's like uh, Claire, I think, finding Sherry. Um, in a house and then you have the itchy tasty zombie like bursting through the window so they put that scene online now too so you can check that out and I think Chad Rook had shared that as well and uh, and a couple other people from the cast so they're pumping up the marketing on this uh, and they're showing a lot of stuff I won't be able to go over everything between now and the movie for sure this may be one of the last videos I make about this movie before I see it um, but I think in the next episode what I'm going to do is finally do a commentary for Resident Evil the final chapter because we had talked about that for a while now and that's the last movie we haven't done a commentary on and I want to get that done and I also want to get my reviews of the movie uh, done around the time we get to episode 100 which is just a few episodes from now. So I'm going to try to time this because I don't know if I'll go past episode 100. Originally I planned that I would. I'm still on the fence of it. Uh, I, I see a lot of people out there supporting this and they have been enjoying my videos which is very nice of you. I do appreciate that. Um, but I do have a main channel and I have been having health issues recently and I, I'm i struggling with uh, balancing a lot of stuff. So um, I, I will still try to find some type of content to put on this channel and maybe it still will be Resident Evil. I'm still thinking about how I could do that. But for now, at least my plan is to maybe end around episode 100, which is just a few episodes from now, ending with, you know, the movie, uh, my reviews of the movie. Um, but we'll see. Maybe you guys can twist my arm and I can go another 20 or something episodes. And, and, and uh, if I can, I will for sure. So let me know what you think of all these little Easter eggs. And if you got your tickets, let me know down below. Or if you're even going to go see this movie, because I know there's people out there that are still critical of it. And that's totally fine. I welcome those conversations too. As long as you're cool about it and, and laid back and respectful, like that's all I care about. So let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in Raccoon City. Peace.